How's it going, all fucking Southern Californian residents? Uh, today I have pretty much either a preach to the choir or some completely new profound information. It could be preaching to the choir if you already take the public transportation in Los Angeles, like the fucking metros, the, any of the buses, any subways. Um, and you already know what I'm going to discuss here, that it is completely fucked in every way possible, hygiene-wise, morally, just, you know. And uh, if, you're, if you have been privileged enough for your entire life to just be, you know, taking cars, being fucking Teslas everywhere because of your multinational banking company or whatever, then I will, I guess, enlighten you, or like the opposite of enlighten you to some uh, d dark truths. Uh, which will serve to make you even more grateful for the situation that you are in and will make you fucking hustle to get that car finally if you're still stuck in this predicament. Um, if for whatever reason you are between the ages of 15 and 17, which is what I'm mostly, you know, making this video for because obviously, <laughs> obviously uh, I cannot speak for anyone older because I myself am not older. You need to get on your shit. If you have the opportunity to do your driver's ed, um, early, and whatever, take your lessons, take the permit test, and you have that opportunity, your parents are giving it to you, please take it, please do not delay it, because, uh, the alternative, right, if anything goes south, by chance, on the public transportation, it's not, it's not pretty, right, there's actual feces on the fucking buses, there's this one time, I remember where, um, I was getting on the swan bus, there were a couple of kids, uh, sitting, like, adjacent to the seat that I was about to get in, everyone was, for some reason, avoiding that seat, right? I put my bag down uh, on the seat, and everyone's fucking looking at me, and they just start laughing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, I'm a pretty funny guy, right? And then I look, uh, and then I listen with my ears. Uh, my eyes see something slightly unpleasant, and my ears hear um, the fellow passengers talk about how there's, like, shit on the seat. And lo and behold, there was shit on the seat beautiful city of angels uh this is not an isolated event although all the other times you know i've been more vigilant obviously and i've avoided these tragedies um there are homeless people on board these buses that piss and yell everywhere and they do like crack under a blanket you know obviously just not optimal once again um probably not very good for your mental health that is why every single person without fail who doesn't have, like, uh, anyone to sit with, does not, do you think they're gonna be, like, there with confident body language, fucking making eye contact with people, like, being social, being like, oh, yes, fellow human, hi, time to interact with you, all our thousands of years of fucking history has led us here, let's be happy about this present moment, no, they're all gonna be on their phones looking at shitty-ass Sneeko shorts with their, uh, crooked neck posture, looking down, just being sad, and I can't really blame them because the state of the bus is, I mean, this is the only picture I could really find that was fitting for this video. Um, it is a bus that is, like, you know, pretty like, pretty scarily close in number to the one that I take day-to-day. Uh, -day. And some fucking guy got stabbed on it by this 17-year-old kid. This man looks like a turbo virgin. This man looks like he smoked an elf bar. This man looked like he um picked up the uh, lemoncello cart night in the O'Reilly's parking lot, and he took several hits, and that's what prompted him to, um, do the things he did, is my best guess. So, if you are in this 15 to 17 age range, please start your driver's ed if you have the uh, opportunity. Do not ever take cars for granted, because they're so much safer, as long as you don't drive them, like my one friend who posts on his Instagram story, him going 113 miles in the hills. And it's, it's not very fun. But basically, be super grateful to anyone who can drive you places because, you know, you avoid a bunch of just mind fuckery. Um, and there is an underlying issue for this that isn't just like, obviously this didn't just spawn out of the ether. There's a bunch of shit that has been building up. Like, um, social security nets aren't the best. And like, uh, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> upon becoming president, decided it'd be really funny to abolish all the, like, mental institutions and, like, a bunch of the homeless shelters and just leave those people out on the streets. And now the rules are different for that, and now they're, I don't know, they seek refuge in the bus. So, good job on that, Mr. Reagan. Well done. Uh, 
and also the just a complete lack of support, uh, fucking mental and like spiritual support for these homeless people who are out on the streets. Um, except like if they get a little bit too rowdy, then the cops are maybe called on them, but that's it, which, you know, obviously doesn't tackle the actual issue. Now, you, uh, there are two ways to protect yourself from this. Either you can become Martin Luther King Jr., but for, you know, <laughs> I don't know, the public transport system and homeless people and have a dream and start marching with a million men and then hopefully not step out on any balconies. Or you can get yourself a car and protect yourself that way and um, kind of wait for the issue to be fixed, you can actually still, like, you know, protest, do, do some shit, write to Congress, whatever you would like, just use a car, please, because in either case, it's a lot safer, um, a lot better than any of the public transport, so get on that fucking driver's education, and be grateful if you already do not have to deal with these buses. There's a quick one today, might seem a little bit out of place, but it is near and dear to my heart, these buses are where I do a lot of my thinking, and, um, Sometimes the thinking gets interrupted by men on fentanyl yelling. And um, I thought I should share that. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Have a wonderful evening.